Alright, so we've all seen by now that you can get a pretty solid budget gaming PC out of a Dell Optiplex. I've made like seven or eight videos about it at this point, but the problem is that they all look like the same boring Dell Optiplex. Today, I'm going to show you how to take that look from something like this and turn it into something that looks like that. Let's get into it. Hey, welcome to Zach's Tech Turf. Today I'm gonna to be showing you the process that I used to mod this Dell Optiplex into what I think is a pretty baller gaming PC at this point. And if you're new here and you wanna see more PC building or PC hardware videos, then hit that subscribe button down below and also that notification bell. That way you never miss an episode. But yeah, before we get into it, let me quickly pay some bills. NordVPN is one of the highest rated VPNs or virtual private networks that allow you to browse the internet privately, securely, and with no history logs whatsoever. It's super easy to use. All you do is select which server from around the world you wanna to connect to and you're done. Enjoy clutch features like double VPN protection for extra security, an internet kill switch for the very rare time the VPN disconnects, super fast peer-to-peer -peer downloads, and unlimited bandwidth for just above three bucks a month if you sign up for two years. I actually signed up for a year of NordVPN at full retail price way before they hooked me up with a referral link and a discount code for you guys, so I obviously recommend them as my go-to VPN service. Head on over to nordvpn.com Zach or click the first link in the description to learn more. All right, so to quickly recap what I'm gonna show you how to do in this video, I really only did two things to this Dell Optiplex as you can probably tell. First, I added a sheet of plexiglass on the side panel and then I just added some blue light and that's about it. I decided that I wanted the side panel to be as much plexiglass as possible and not just a small window, but I did want to include the trim around the side and keep the handle on the case as well. I've definitely seen some other YouTubers just make the entire side panel plexiglass, but I wanted to keep the handle because it gives it that signature Dell Optiplex look. And also the trimming around the sides just doesn't look that good and I wanted to cover it up. For this type of project, I didn't really need that many materials. All I had, as you can see here, is an 18 by 24 inch sheet of plexiglass that I picked up at Lowe's for 11 bucks, the cheap blue Molex RGB lights that were $10 for the both of them, and I didn't even end up using the magnets that I bought for this project. The first thing I did was trace out my cut for the plexiglass. I used the side panel as a straight edge, but I adjusted the panel and my cut line to be about an inch smaller on both sides so that it would fit inside of the panel and behind it. After that, I traced out where I wanted to cut the actual side panel, and I just eyeballed this part of it. Probably should have measured it a bit more accurately, but it wasn't a big deal in my opinion. One thing to note is that I specifically traced out the cutting line around this metal bar on the case because I just wanted to make sure that I completely removed it. After I got everything traced out, it was time to take this outside, and as you're about to see, I initially tried to cut the plexiglass with a jigsaw, and that didn't go over so well. At first, the jigsaw was cutting the plexiglass just fine, but I think I wasn't giving it enough speed, and I accidentally ended up cracking the plexiglass. Thankfully, I did save an extra trip to Lowe's because I had enough room on the sheet of plexiglass to trace it out again, and only like half an inch of the crack was visible, and I honestly don't even remember where it is at this point. After the new tracing, I decided to switch to my Dremel, which I hadn't actually used before, and this ended up being a much smoother cutting experience. I did have to make sure that I was very careful cutting around the part that I shattered, but after a couple of minutes and the plexiglass dust covered everywhere, I got the cut that I needed. After the initial plexiglass cut, I had to measure out the handle, and once again, I just eyeballed where I needed to make the cuts, traced them out with a dry erase marker, and cut it out with the Dremel no problem. After the plexiglass was cut, it was now time to cut the actual metal side panel and like I've said I have never used this Dremel before and I definitely made some rookie mistakes. The first time I started cutting I was apparently going way too fast and trying to cut too much at once and the Dremel blade shrunk down to the size of nothing in just a matter of seconds and only after a couple of inches of cutting out the case. Here's where I realized that I had to go back to the hardware store and buy more of those cutting blades for the Dremel. I actually ended up buying 24 of them but once I figured out how to go nice and smooth I only used two of them afterwards. I also also picked up this clear shield guard which directs the sparks away from my face and I finally started to figure out the correct speed of cutting the case and things went super smoothly from here. I always kept the case mounted to the tailgate of my truck to ensure that it didn't move and I was also wearing a face shield and covering my mouth and nose with a shirt the entire time. It definitely wouldn't be a bad idea to invest in a proper respirator mask because you don't want to be breathing in pieces of aluminum and plexiglass though. Once it was all cut the only thing left to do outside was grind down the edges that I cut so that they weren't sharp and I just used a grinding stone attachment on my Dremel to do this. I also wrapped my hand in a shirt and manually scraped away all the extra bits and pieces just to make sure it was smooth and safe enough to grab. After that, I took the plexiglass and metal side panel downstairs, lined them up, and here's where I realized that I didn't leave myself enough room for the magnets and I thought it would be best just to use electrical tape instead. I peeled off the adhesive from both sides of the plexiglass
plexiglass and then started working my way around the entire panel, taping the glass to the case and making sure that the tape wasn't visible from the outside because that would obviously look bad. Finally, the last step in this entire side panel process was using a Sharpie to color in the parts of the cut where the black paint was chipped away and then it was good to go. Once the entire side panel process was done, it was just time to install the lights. And like I said at the beginning of this video, these are just simple $10 Molex single color light strips and you can really place these around anywhere and it'll look good enough. So there you have it. That's a quick instruction slash recap of what mods I just did to my Dell Optiplex over the weekend and I'm definitely very happy with how this turned out. I definitely could have done some things differently like use my table saw to make finer cuts with the plexiglass and I could have measured and traced out the cuts more accurately but overall I was simply trying to show how easy this is to make this kind of a mod. I know a lot of people want to start their first budget gaming PC with a Dell Optiplex but they're scared because it's kind of hard to transfer the motherboard into a new case. There's some compatibility issues sometimes but this is just a neat way to make your Dell Optiplex unique and I think you should go for it. Be sure to let me know down in the comment section what other mods you've done to your pre-built OEMs and if you want to see me attempt any of them in another video. Well that wraps up my first ever modding video with the Dell Optiplex. As always, drop a comment down below about what you're thinking about this mod because I really want to hear from you guys. After that, feel free to head on over to one of these two videos if you haven't seen them yet and definitely hit that subscribe button because coming up next, I'm actually going to show you what's inside this build and then benchmark it. You don't want to miss that video.